Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Silent Hill. Now where we last left off, we eventually made our way out of the school, and once we did, we followed the sound of a church bell leading to this church, where we met a mysterious woman who foretold our arrival by spinning around repeatedly in circles until she reached dizziness and thus derived meaning from a bunch of letters on the in the circle also known as gyromancy and well we have to go to the hospital apparently at uh, this woman's insistence and before leaving, she was kind enough to leave us this mysterious Flaros object. A pyramid-shaped object found in the church, and its purpose and use is unknown. Because she couldn't be bothered to tell us what exactly this thing is for. So we basically have a destination, but we don't really know exactly why we have to hurry on over there. I'll have a recipe to lead to create more questions than answers, if you ask me. Anyway, the hospital. As you can see by this map, it's not anywhere on here. In fact, it's on the other side of the town to Central Silent Hill. And luckily, this same lady was kind enough to provide us a drawbridge key. So we can go to Central Silent Hill. So, we're gonna go right on ahead and make our way there. But on the way there, I'm gonna explore what's left of this part of the town first, and see if I can find any other items that I can use. Like this. I am now just Stock full on handgun ammunition. Anything else in here? Some oil cans on the shelf. There's a TV set. It doesn't turn on. A car engine. No problem there. Apparently nothing else. You should have saved yourself rather than attack me. We could have avoided this. Shame that apparently we can't use any cars. Otherwise getting around... Actually, with all the ditches and holes all around in the streets. Honestly, it probably would be better just to travel on foot. Because really... You wouldn't really be able to get very far on wheels anyway, clearly. Hmm. Eh, I'll take it anyway. Why not? I'll also take the shotgun... Sh these shotgun shells, because I clearly need those. I'm just gonna check this building right up front along with this side of this hole here in the street. See if I can find something. Although I won't be surprised if I find nothing at all. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything except red rum. <sighs> Nothing like a good old reference to Stephen King's The Shining. I don't see anything here. Okay, there's nothing left from what I can tell. So... Let's go to the drawbridge.
Now, if any luck, Harry, we'll find your daughter there. As for how she could have wound up all the way to Central Silent Hill, with all these holes in the, in the streets and all these various monsters attacking and, well, you know, a drawbridge being drawn up. It is truly a mystery how a small child, only seven years of age, will have been able to wander all the way over to the other side of town. But hey, never underestimate a child. They can be a lot craftier than you think. And I speak from experience, from when I was a small boy. I can be pretty crafty when I wanted to be as a kid. We got spooky music. There must be something here, like this rock drill that warrants it. There is no gasoline, can't use it. So, much like the chainsaw, I don't have any gasoline to uh, use this thing with. It's truly unfortunate. Anyway, this is clearly our, our drawbridge. Or Ridge Bridge Control Room. That's quite a name, Or Ridge. If I could graffiti anything in this, I would put a P in front of Orridge so we'd get to Porridge Bridge. You lower this bridge, you get to go to the land of Porridge. There is a shopping district map. Yep. And I can see right down below, that's the hospital. Akamilla Hospital. Anything in here? Well, there's a health drink. What a lovely view. Snow, white, and a silhouette of a bridge. There's a keyhole in the control panel. Let's use this key. The machinery is running. Do you want to press the switch? Hell yes! Alright, we can go to the shopping district, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all brought hope you're all gonna bring your wallets and purses with you. Such intense music. It's kind of got like a dr travel drum, drum like feel to it, I guess. Not necessarily sound. Hmm. Tempting, but I will leave that there for now. If I need it, I'll come right back for it. Okay, so we got a police station, Silent Hill Town Center, a bunch of shops, a post office, and the hospital. I'm going to try to explore the shopping district a little bit before I go to the hospital. You suck at aiming. Okay, I got one. Okay, uh... At least I can go back for that box. Oh. 
I might as well check the police station first before anything else. It's your fault for just standing there. You could have flown away, and I wouldn't have even bothered to give chase. Door, the lock is jammed. This door can't be opened. How unfortunate. Hello. You're an interesting fellow. Jump on! I didn't know you could just hop on cars and jump on them. Okay. Uh. Let's heal up a bit. I think I did okay, all things considered. Well, at least we can go in this way. Anyway, hello, police. I have a uh, missing seven-year-old kid running around. Short, black hair, just turned seven last month. As much as I, as I appreciate you just having bullets lying around for anybody to pick up, like yours truly, I need some professional assistance. There's something on it. Product only available in selected areas of Silent Hill. Raw material is White Claudia, a plant peculiar to the region. Manufactured here. Dealer equals manufacturer. Drugs, I assume. Shotgun shells. The desk is messy. Yes, it is. There's a memo on the desk. Coroner Seals called. Officer Gucci is unlikely to be murdered. He apparently died naturally. But, the medical records show Officer Gucci had no prior symptoms of heart disease. Hmm, interesting. Seems awfully suspect. Nothing helpful. Lock is jammed. Got some more handgun bullets here. This door is also jammed. And we got more shells. Well, some help you guys are. We don't even have someone watching reception. That's okay though. I can dish out a little vigilante justice if need be. I'm, I'm armed enough for it, I think. And I'm getting plenty of practice in all these monsters when it comes to shooting crap. I even took out a giant one in the last episode. Alright, where am I on the map? Okay, I'm going down this way. I see a parking garage right here. Mario LD. Come on, Harry. It was right there. How'd you miss the first couple times?
Oh dear, there's a whole lot of them. Oh boy. Retreat. Uh, I'll go in here. It's locked. But I would like some antiques. Can I at least browse your wares? Ow. You have excellent timing, but it's annoying for me. Ow. Ow. For God's sake, just die already. Yeah, this is just not worth it. I'm just gonna run. I think I pissed them off, guys. Big time. Was that bookstore I just passed? I would like to browse some books. I think that said Grandmaster. Uh, top sales of what? I don't know. I only got caught a glimpse of the sign. I hear your buddy's coming. Okay, go, 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 go. Green Pharmacy. Okay, I think that's the hospital. I'm not going to go there just yet. Oh dear. Okay, I guess I got to save myself for that one. How's my health? I think I can take one more hit before I need to heal again. Um, what do you say? Restaurant Die Die. Tramp's Bar. Andy's Bookstore. Can I examine your books too? Hot Dogs. Salmon Fresh. Sky Toys. Fashion Center. A movable feast cafe. Hmm. I'm just going to walk around this building here and see if I can find something. I was hoping that I lost those pterodactyl things. Oh. Found more of you guys, though. Well, I'm glad I decided to circle around the, this building because I found a health drink.
Plenty of bullets, plenty of drinks, still no Cheryl. Poor Harry must be worried out of his mind. 30 records, so going by the wheels on there, I assume this is like an automotive store, or at least a tire shop. I see some stairs here. Anything up here we can use? Because I highly doubt we're going to find a seven-year-old girl with short black hair up here. Nope. Nothing whatsoever. Would you look at that? I'm right here at the post office. And apparently I can't enter it or interact with the door in any way. That is most unfortunate. I think I found a burger joint right here. Some Chinese food. Chinese sounds pretty good right about now. destroyed streets. Okay, I think I pretty much explored everywhere I can here in the shopping district. I think it's enough sightseeing, so let's go to the hospital. Hmm. That sounds like gunshots. Suck at aiming. There we go. Well, that's it for them. Still good on health. Got plenty of handgun ammo. Let's go inside. looking hospital. Yet another shot. There are phones and phone books. No need to examine this. Anything here I can look at? Anything at all? Nope. Might as well go ahead and save, since there's a little notepad right here. Okay, so who's shooting? Hello. Hold it. <gasps> Stop. Don't shoot. You're a horrible Wait. shot. I'm not here to fight. My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Like he was right there. Thank God. Another human being. 
Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out, this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. Well, clearly they do. Yeah. And they want us. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Are you trying to make this man worried? Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. What is that mysterious noise I'm hearing? I think I know what it is, though. It's the sound of you not offering to help a man looking for his missing child in a clearly dangerous environment filled with things that clearly want to eat all your faces off. Really, though, nice of you to show a little bit of concern, but only a little for Harry's situation. But clearly you have more important things to be doing right now rather than helping this man out in any capacity. You do you, doctor. Maybe someone's got a really nasty cold somewhere and you were and you're on a house call. Maybe that's why you can't help. Guy kill those colds. Nothing helpful. Really, though, don't you feel any semblance of irritation, Harry? Because I know if I were in your shoes, I'd be more than a little irritated at that man. Like, I mean, I know he's, like, I mean, I know it's, he's not, he shouldn't be forced to help out and all that, but at the same time, you're all in a dangerous situation, so it would be best if, you know, you all helped each other out so your chances of survival would be much greater. And it would be the moral thing to do. And we got a hospital map. This map is more helpful to me than you, Doc. This first aid kit will undoubtedly be more helpful to me than you, Doc. Well, anyway, I guess that's enough ripping into poor Mr. Kaufman. Nothing helpful. We got a newspaper. This article's been clipped out. Okay, we got clipped out an article. Is, isn't there anything else on in the paper that looks remotely interesting to read about? Clearly there's nothing worth reading on the whiteboard. Jammed, jammed, jammed. If I had a nickel for every, if I, if I had a nickel for every jammed door that I found, I'd probably have enough to get myself a decent meal at a restaurant. There's a whiteboard. Nothing special written there either. 
What do we have here? A hospital basement map. Why do they have the basement map separate from the rest of the hospital map? Seems a bit odd. Pretty basic little conference room. We got a key here, though. A basement key. Hey, Harry! You ready to explore some more building basements? Maybe for luck you will find another giant lizard monster thing like in the last basement that you went down. This is clearly the kitchen. There's a plastic bottle. I will take it. Refrigerator is empty. Health drink. For a hospital kitchen, this place is very awfully bereft of food. Or do you just make a habit out of starving your patients here or something? That's gotta be illegal. The shelves are all messed up. Who did this? That's a good question. You don't just go messing up somebody's shelves. Think of the mess. Books are scattered around the desk. Nothing else special here. This looks peculiar. A glass vial lies shattered. It's not just broken. It looks smashed on purpose. How are you able to tell that? By a number of shards? Maybe it just fell really high from the ceiling or something. Maybe whoever owns this office just likes to have glass balls taped to the ceiling. It's not that much stranger than just uh, throwing pencils up into the ceiling and seeing how many you can stick up there. Uh, anyway, I will use this bottle here. The remaining liquid is emptied into the plastic bottle. Now, what have we here? Red li unknown liquid. Red liquid found in a broken vial in the hospital director's room. Maybe it'll be useful later. Of course, there's no logical reason why we should collect this liquid, but well, since we can, why the hell not? Is jammed. Neither of these vending machines won't even so much as offer me a health drink, clearly. The elevator doesn't appear to be working. Well, Harry, nowhere left to go but down. Let's check the basement. I really doubt that there's anything safe down here. Usually, these, this, usually music like that tells you that there's going to be something more ferocious, there, fer ferocious here than an angry kitten. Like giant roaches, for example. I hope you guys are enjoying the roaches as much as I am. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, they know I'm here. I better run. Eh, they're so annoying. So gross. At least it doesn't get old killing them. I see you up there. Where are you? 
Okay, I see you. That takes care of you guys. So we got a morgue, a storeroom, a generator room, and a boiler room. Let's check the morgue. The morgue does not want to be checked. And neither does storage. Or the boiler room. The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Well, what about the rest of the hospital? Well, now we got that on. What an unsettling noise. Come on. There we go. Alright, that's it for the roaches. Big elevator. Then again, I guess it needs to be big, considering that you could probably have gurneys and that, that you'll probably need to have gurneys and stuff on some of them. What well, being a hospital and all. Be crazy not to. Okay, first floor. We are good. Let's check the other floors. Hey Cheryl, did you did you fall and scrape your knee? Tell me where you are. I'm sure the doctors are taking good care of you. At least on not at least not on this floor, because this floor is apparently inaccessible. Maybe you're on the third floor. there's clearly nothing here that I can find. There's clearly nothing here. Nothing whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. It feels like something is trying to guide me somewhere. It's probably just my imagination. I think I just... Need to get. I just. I just think I need to get my eyes examined or something, because I'm pretty sure that this button was always here before. Nothing ominous about it whatsoever. Might as well push it. Hello. That looks like that antique store I stopped by earlier. This looks pretty different from the rest of the hospital. Nothing happens when the elevator button is pressed. Well, it's official. We've walked into a trap. Head first with a big stupid grin on her face. It's locked. Don't have a map for this place. Surely you must be feeling unnerved by this, Harry. Suddenly find yourself on a floor of the hospital that some that shouldn't even exist, but somehow does. Well, 
clearly this four, this additional four floor is a bunch of wasted space since you can't even get into any of the rooms. And there goes our light. More jammed doors. Seriously though, what a useless hospital floor. What's the point if you can't even access any of the doors? I think it's official, Harry. First Hell School, now Hell Hospital. You look human. Hi. There seems to be something wrong with your back. Maybe if I whack it a good bit, that'll help fix what is wrong with you. I might want to get my gun out for this. Weird little growths on what appears to be uh, hospital staff's backs. That the hospital staff themselves acting very bizarre and inhuman. The steel plate is screwed to the wall. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that they are being puppeteered by something. Most likely the very same growths that are on their backs. Now, now if that isn't paranoia fuel, I don't know what is. The I, I mean the idea that, well, now you have to contend with people being controlled by crap. Because what if that could happen to you, Harry? A VCR. It's old but usable. I only found a safe spot here. I don't think I'll save just yet, though. I see a bird cage, and it's empty. I guess even the denizens of hell must have must like to have pets in with them, even in hospitals. Maybe it's a service bird. Found a plate of turtle. Square blue plate with a picture of a mock turtle. So we got urinals in the sink, but no toilets? What kind of lousy bathroom? Don't spook me. What kind of lousy bathroom is this? This is the laundry room. Here's some dryers. Useless now. We gotta keep the we gotta keep the unhygienic levels up as high as possible, and make sure that the dryers are inoperable. OK, 
Okay, so I could go through. That. All right, I hear more of them. How we all doing, ladies? Probably gonna need a really good dose of aspirin after this. And I'm probably gonna need some painkillers eventually after you guys get enough hits on me. See what's in here. Looks like another storage room. Indeed, it is. Some handgun bullets, empty bottles. You can use on the boxes. What kind of mold is that? Looks dangerous. First aid kit. And a blood pack. Two hundred milliliter blood pack found in the hospital storage room. Wonder what blood type it is. Mm, I think I'll keep the pipe equipped. So Cheryl, I hope you're not in this place. Not that the school would have been any better in retrospect, but this place doesn't seem particularly good and safe for a child either. Hmm. Got a plate of cat. We got a cat and a turtle. Square yellow plate with picture of a Cheshire cat. Good old Alice in Wonderland. Lock is jammed. It's unlocked. Well, we can at least go here now. But I'm just going to head my way to the stairs. Alright, let's see what's down here. Uh oh. I guess I also kind of set myself up for that one. The Grim Reaper's List. 35. Lydia Findlay. 60, Trevor F. White. 18, Albert Lords. 45, Roberta T. Morgan. And 38, Edward C. Briggs. Hmm. Interesting.
This looks like a lighter. Well, for a hellish-like place, much like the school, there seems to be a distinct lack of hellfire. So why not, Harry? Why not take it upon yourself to bring a little hellfire to this hellish place? Get something flammable. Go to the first floor or lower and just set everything ablaze. Let the flames work their way gradually up to the heavens. That's freaky. Obviously, I don't think you'd. I want you would want to mess with that. And there is a little blood spot on there, so on the ground. So let's use this blood pack. Well, whatever they are, they clearly love blood. Plate of Hatter. Mad Hatter, I assume. Yeah, Plate of Hatter. Square green plate with a picture of a Mad Hatter. So we got the Hatter, the Cat, and a Turtle. Definitely got a theme going on here. What do we have here? Clouds flowing over a hill. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Dandelions along the path. Unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. Lovely little hint. There are four square indentations on the door. Well, obviously they hint at the indentations here on the door, that little passage. But I don't have our fourth thing yet. So let's just continue exploring for now. Let's head down to the first floor. We got ourselves some doctors now. Well, you clearly took a little more punishment than the nurses. I can't go to the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, at least they're easier to ambush than the little gray things at the school. And it's nice of this vending machine here to uh, give me some drinks. Although I really would be show extreme caution in consuming anything that you'd find in a place like this. Because, really, who knows what's actually in that liquid? I mean, you don't know what's... You don't, I mean, you don't know where that thing's been in the plate in this place. Who had it last? What might have been, what might have been put into it? Uh oh. I got plenty of health drinks, so it's not all that bad. So about seven shots of the handgun is what it takes to bring you get you guys down. Good to know. Check what's in here. Oh, shit. Oh boy. Don't really let me have it, I see. annoying. It's locked. The sound is heard from beyond the door. Sound like footsteps, I think. Alright. Let's take care of you too. Just like I did your friends, who all look suspiciously like you. In fact, you all look very familiar. Very, very familiar. This house, this hospital must be staffed by twins. here. Handgun bullets. Nothing helpful. Oh, I think they finally stopped spawning from the looks of it. Move. go the way I wanted it to. Not even hell has much has much food here in this hospital either. Well, I think 
this is the plate of queen square red plate with picture of a queen of hearts well looks like we have everything we need now. door and I see a little notepad here I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. I hope you enjoyed this latest episode of Silent Hill. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Take care.